toy time at home. Presented by Public Library of Cincinnati and Hamilton County. Hi friends, this is Miss Amy from the Green Hills Library. I have some stories for you today. We're going to start off with Pigs a Plenty, Pigs Galore. This is by David Gaffel, and this is one of my favorite books. Late one night, as I sat reading, well, I thought I heard the sound of feeding. Through the kitchen door I crept, barely watching where I stepped. Oh, a crash, a bang, a shout, a yell. I slipped on something, then I fell. I landed on a pile of pigs, some eating dates, some eating figs. In the cupboards, on the floor, pigs aplenty, pigs galore. Black kids, black pigs, white pigs, brown and pink, making oatmeal in the sink. Oh, pigs in tutus, pigs in kilts, pigs on skateboards, pigs on stilts. Pigs from England, pigs from France, pigs in just their underpants. Oh, the king of pigs, the piggy queen, the biggest pigs I've ever seen. Now pigs arrive by boat, by plane. A bus pulls up and then a train. A band strikes up. Oh, a piggy sings. And then at 10, the doorbell rings. Someone yells, the pizza's here. And all the pigs begin to cheer. Oh, flying pizzas fill the air. One goes splat. I guess my chair. Oh, the piggy piggies eat their fill. Oh, I get nothing, just the bill. Oh, I've had enough. I scream and shout. Oh, get out, you pigs. You pigs, get out. Oh, please let us stay. The piggies cry. Don't make us go. Don't say goodbye. Well, you can stay, I tell them all but sweep the floor and scrub the wall. I give them brooms, a pail, a mop. Now sweep and scrub till I say stop. Now the piggies work, and when they're done, upstairs they stagger, one by one. They brush their teeth and comb their tails, and then wash their snouts and clean their nails. Well, the pigs and I climb into bed. I plump the pillows, plop my head. I close my eyes and try to sleep. Well, before too long, I'm dreaming deep. Of pigs and pigs and pigs some more. Of pigs of plenty, pigs galore. And that's a story, pigs of plenty, pigs galore. Okay. I would like you to sing a song with me. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. What's cow say? With a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a horse. E-I-E-I-O. What's a horse say? With a neigh, neigh here and a neigh, neigh there. Here, neigh, there, neigh, everywhere, neigh, neigh. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a dog. E-I-E-I-O. 
We have the rough, rough here and a rough, rough there. Here, a rough, there, a rough, everywhere, a rough, rough. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm, he had a cat. E-I-E-I-O. With a meow, meow here and a meow, meow there. Here, meow, there, meow, everywhere, meow, meow. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Okay, friends, let's do another book. This one is Giraffes Can't Dance. This is by um, Giles and Andrea. Now Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. Oh, he was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, oh, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, oh, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, well, he was really, very really bad. Now the warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. Now the chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel. And eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Now Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor. But the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Oh, hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animals all sneered. Oh, giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. It's not nice, is it? Oh, Gerald simply froze up. Oh, he was rooted to the spot. Oh, they're right, he thought. Oh, I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. Oh, he'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. And then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. Oh, the moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Well, excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, well, you just need a different song. Well, listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. Well, to me, the sweetest music is his branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Well, everything makes music if you really want it to. Now with that, the cricket smiled and he picked up his violin. And then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. Oh, his hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. Oh, he threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. And then he did a backward somersault and he leapt up in the air. Oh, Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I am dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. And then one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance, arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched them quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. Oh, we must be in a dream. Well, Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. Well, how did you learn to dance like that? Oh, please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. And then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. Well, we all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. And that is Giraffes Can't Dance. All right, friends, I hope you liked our stories today. Um, check back the library page soon and we'll have another one for you. Have a good day and stay safe. Get free books in the mail. Sign up today. Go to Ohio Imagination Library. 
Oh, Algie, to find out more.